Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's quite obvious what I'm doing a review of today. <clears throat> it's the Legacy Standard Bible Handy Size. I honestly prefer their box a little more than Skylar, if we're being honest. I liked when Skylar did the two-piece box. The clamshell just wears out in the hinge too quick. And this fits a little... Uh, more snug in there and that just makes me feel better I guess 316 publishing really nice really nice box honestly <clears throat> sorry excuse my uh, throat clearing here just woke up so anyhow let's get into this as you can see here the yap is pretty much trained and again the goat skin you're gonna see the white print uh, oily skin. Some people maybe not have that issue. Uh, I am one of those people that do have that issue. So, so it is a full yap. It does almost. It almost touches on the bottom and the top. <clears throat> it will touch right here, and it will touch on the bottom and the top if you like hold a little bit. But just sitting here doing it, it's almost there. It's, it's, I would say touching. It's full yap for sure. <clears throat> you have three, uh, three double-sided satin Beresford ribbons. You have black, and then this creamish, creamy yellow. A lot of people are calling it yellow. I would call it like a <clears throat> tannish yellow. I don't know. It's hard to see. It's not like a bright yellow. And then you got the red. So I'd say gold, like maybe. Uh, a gold, a very light gold, not a deep gold. So definitely Chiefs colors there. Go Chiefs. Um, it is perimeter stitched. As you can see there. It's got a really nice grain. It's not heavily a lot like the Skylers. And you see a lot of people on here that are reviewing these. <clears throat> get a good, pretty good grain. I mean, it's got a good grain, but I never seem to get the real deep grain ones. It's just my luck. As I like them. And then it's got six, six raised bands or hubs. I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll compare it to the Skylar here in a minute just to kind of show you size comparison and everything. Uh, so you got the five solas there. Scripture alone, faith alone, grace alone, Christ alone, to the glory of God alone. Um, I can show you a size comparison to start with the cover. So you just already you see that it's a little smaller than the uh, Strident. And it's going to be smaller than the Quintail. <clears throat> this is the same text block roughly as the Quintail. It's just a little bit thicker because it's a single column. And I'm trying this in 4K, so I'm hoping it works. Uh but it seems like it's not wanting to focus for some reason, but there's the spines. In, this thing wants to look a little thicker, but it's really not in person. Um, person, they're almost exactly the same, and I will measure them later and see what the actual measurements are. And I can also show you the text blocks comparison right now. Let's just go like this. So here we go, as you can see, it's just a hair shorter, and probably a hair shorter this way as well, I would imagine. So there's that so far. <clears throat> and it is edge lined, as you see there. And it has the gold foil gilt line around the perimeter of the inside calf. This is a calf skin liner. Uh, I People have said that this is in between Allen and Skylar. <clears throat> I would say that's inaccurate because it's not as supple even as the goat, the, the uh, calf skin. The calf skin is softer and there's no way that's, <clears throat> this is goat skin on the outside. So I don't know whether they use a a thick chunk of calfskin liner here. 
because you can see it's got the text box shape in it like it's already trained the yap and it, that's what i love about this bible but it is not as supple as a Skylar. There's just no way, because the goat skin on a Skylar is more supple than the calf skin, because my goat skin NLT just melts in your hand. And I think that's, I prefer this handy size because it's gonna fit in my hand a little better. It's not gonna flop all over the place. So if I put the bottom of my palm here, this is almost the top of the text block. So, let's get into thinking if I remember if I'm missing anything on the outside. So yeah, on top of the edge line, it is Smith's own. It will lay fairly flat, <clears throat> so you can get this worked over like this, but it does want to come back. It's a little stiff yet, and he's broke in, but these did lay life ladder out of the box. So you have the LSB title page, I guess the standard Bible. And you have the, that's black. And my camera almost looked red, so I know that another reviewer did the same thing. Went with that, but with another spot with the uh, verses. When you're looking through your phone, the colors kind of are a little tricky. Here's the copyright page. <clears throat> Shows you it's this handy uh, size edition. Steadfast fast Bible. Typesetting is 2K Denmark, but it's not like a Milo font, obviously. It's... I'm not sure. Uh, printed in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood, October 2022. Here's the ISBN numbers. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know why. I just don't like the ISBN numbers anywhere. I mean, you could put that in a on a card or whatever. I just don't think it's really a, the best for inside of a Bible. So here's your forward scriptural promises. This is the See, preface to the Legacy Standard Bible. I uh, know in the Strident, <clears throat> it's just the regular NASB that you see everywhere else. And then at the end of the statement, it tells you a little bit about the NASB 2020. This is all about the uh, Legacy Standard Bible. So I absolutely uh, recommend you read that. Now this... <clears throat> So here's the explanation of general format for this edition. It tells you about the uh, small cast, the brassic, brackets, asterisks, books of the Bible. So the contents page. <clears throat> the Old Testament title page. I wish they would, would have incorporated this into like maybe the chapters, kind of like Skylar did, put a chapter number and put this in there somewhere. I just think, I don't know why that little, <clears throat> that little line just doesn't, pleasing to me for some reason. So there's the Old Testament title page and then you get into Genesis. As you can see, much like the stride in a single column, but it is, the verses are set off to the outside and you do have, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Today I'm catching a little bit of a cold, I do believe. So, it's got red for the book titles and red for the running headers, red for the page numbers and the chapter numbers. <clears throat> I guess you could have seen that one there, but <clears throat> it is a 9.5 font. Um, I will try to show you how that compares to Skylar here. Uh, the Skylar is a 10 point, so it's only 0.5 uh, font difference. But, I mean, if I'm being honest, so far, my readings last night uh, out of the LSB, it, the Skylar read a lot bigger than just 0.5. <clears throat> I think it has a lot to do with the spacing. Once you get them closer together, I guess it's not not that big of a difference. Um, trying to do this without tearing something up here, ripping a page. It's always kind of iffy doing this. Let's see, put this here. I'm trying to do this in natural light too, because it just shows the, to me it shows better. It's gonna be hard to get them right next to each other because they're both 
wide margin, so to speak. They both advertise one inch in the margin. So I guess it's not that big of a difference in print. Uh, I don't, the camera is not picking it up, but this is a little more gray than this. So this is a little darker. This paper over here is a lot smoother than this paper. They're both advertised as French mill. This has that, the, num the name that nobody wants to pronounce. It's kind of like Lord Baltimore, the name nobody will say. Um, one reviewer did a pastor actually said it and he sounded like he knew what he was talking about, but this is 32 GSM. This is 28 GSM. This paper just, even in the video, just looks a lot whiter and brighter. If you can see here, the ghosting is comparable on both. I mean, they don't really, this one does have a little less ghosting with a naked eye. So I guess there's that the 32 GSM kind of wins in that regard. Um, this paper just really soft. And it, here, I'll show you real quick. I'll put it in the middle. I'll show you, here's the Striden. See how you hold that? It just kind of flops over. And then when you do that with this one, so get the poetic setting here. Here's the song. You can just sit there and like, this one to me is nicer in the hand. You can really read it and then flop completely over. And it's about the same weight, I would say. This one's just more pleasing for some reason. And I think reading wise, I know the translation wise, I prefer this, but this is the, uh, I call it the Yahweh Bible. Like, uh, Uh, the brother on YouTube that does the reviews is Pentecostal. Um, <clears throat> the mic. That's horrible. I watch him all the time. But uh, he said he had me at Yahweh. And that's pretty much exactly what happened with me as well. So... Yeah, they, they, like I say, they, they advertise one inch at the outer margin, and I would say that is one inch, pretty close. And uh, that's what I wanted to show you, too. For, uh, 1,728 gold gilt pages. So look at that. That gold gilting is second to none. I heard a brother say that the gold gilting on this steadfast is the best and I would almost agree with that look at that gold gilding and then you go like that and you have the red under gold and let's compare that with if we can with the Skylar because that's just to me looks better than the Skylar and the gold and see this gold here shows the red under it at the same time which is not a horrible thing I'm not really knocking it. Let's see how the red art gilt compares to each other. Really wasn't paying attention. I guess we could have done that beforehand. So the light and the light, they're really close together, I guess. You'd have to put them on top of each other to see them in the light. Yeah, they're almost identical. So there I would say they're equal for sure. They're equal there too. This one's way worse, but this one started doing it too. And I noticed like what it is. The problem is you're catching yourself from doing it. And that's when you pick the Bible up by the front like this and lift it on its spine. It wants to roll over, but I'll try not to do that in the future. This one, obviously I've caught before I did the other one. So it will lay, lie flat here, here before too long, especially as much use as I'll probably get out of it. So, oh, and it has a rounded spine. The spine's rounded just like Skylar's is. And 
Let's see, this is Shamar Goatskin. I think I did say that, and if I didn't, I just did now. Shamar uh, did have the perimeter stitching. Perimeter stitching on this one doesn't seem as good as Skylar's. Just, just kind of an observation I made there because if you look in the light, that just looks better done. Looks a little Anyway, that's just a small nitpick. Steadfast is just up and coming. They're not like been in the game as long as Skylar. Uh, they might have been 316. The 316 is a, or Steadfast is a, divi a division or subsidiary or of 316 Publishing. Uh, this advertised. Let's see, where did it go here? So, I was trying to think where I had, get my train of thought here, where I left off. Oh, the five solas, yeah, I showed that. So, I'm just looking through notes over here, I apologize. Usually I don't use notes for that reason. Um, I hope they do, in the future, go back to using really young blood. They've had some issues with the Korean one. I'm not saying that the Korean one's completely bad. It's just they had issues with the ICR inside column reference, and it did deter me from getting it. But it's also deterred me from getting it. It's such a large Bible. <clears throat> it's like way bigger than this. It looks like a big study Bible, and I really don't want that to carry around. The one that's caught my attention is the double column, uh, the two column verse by verse. It again doesn't have cross references or footnotes, and that's kind of why I didn't get that one. I like this single column setup. It's just the Word of God, no distractions. But I would like a column reference in a in a size this size or a little smaller. And they do have a compact that's supposed to release in the summer. And I've seen some like you know previews of the text block. Uh, that one, I don't know how it's gonna turn out in paper. It looks like it might be hard to read. It might be too small, but we'll see. And I may end up with one of those. And hopefully they do it with Roy Youngblood. So that would be so, so nice. So I mentioned the 32 GSM paper, the 9.5 font, and I showed you the red accents. It is line matched. Now, in the poetic setting, you will sometimes, like, I was like, what? Is this not line match? Well, it's because of these. Now, here, I would have nitpicked a little bit. That bold is not bad. This isn't bad, but they could have just one more line divided that, if you know what I mean, just to make that space out, because sometimes these run wide, so it almost looks like text with the Bible. But anyway, it is line match, as you can see, because you're going to have to look right through here. Sometimes you get the psalm on the other side or whatnot, and then you'll see through there, you'll be like, what, that's not lining up. Well, it's because of that, or these, these little headings, headers. So when you read the beginning, it, it tells you like, you know, all kinds of things about how they kept the uh, Hebrew alphabet in Psalm 24 and the full one in Psalm 24 and 119 because they have them all over. If you see there, that's 25, 24, I thought it was 24, maybe it's 25. Yeah, it was 25. That has the old Hebrew alphabet or whatever they were saying in the, in the, preface for the legacy standard bible i just love this setup it, it doesn't read into the gutter at all and that's really nice it wraps around a little but it doesn't you can read it no matter where you're at you read both sides of the text this is the new testament as you can see it is a black letter text and they do have a red letter option in the handy size but i'm thinking that might be the one that's bound in korea and don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. 
Um, they have some, they did have some first editions still left, which is Royal Young Blood. They had an issue with the ribbons, and it was the first time they've ever seen anything like that. I think Royal Young Blood's never had any issue like that, or Beresford, because I think they got the ribbons for Beresford then too, but the, the uh, ribbons were, the dye was coming off on the pages slightly, not like super bad or bleed through or anything, but it was, it was something different, but it was not on all of them. It was only on a select few. I do hope they go to Royal Young Blood because I want to buy more and more from 316. If they, I, and it won't deter me, like if they do the compact and it looks readable to me, I will get it, even if it's Korean. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, I'm not getting it if it's Royal Young Blood because I do want to give these guys business because they are a great company and this is a great, great translation. Now, I've heard so far that Skylar won't be getting LSB because 316 has all the rights to it. I don't know how true that is. If they do, they do. I'll, I'll do business with 316 still, obviously, but the only thing that's, like I love my Skylars, I guess I wanna say, but I love this translation and the two together would be, a, to me, a match made in heaven, but that's all up to 316 if they have the full rights. And then you have the, I do believe it's 42 pages of dot matrix paper. It's 46 pages of dot matrix paper. And before that, obviously, you have the monetary units and the weights and measures. Because this Bible does keep the original measurements from the original text. They want to stay as true as they can, hence the reason why they use Yahweh. And that's another reason why they use, there's no the end. So if anybody is picky about that, there is no Yahweh in the New, New Testament because in the original text, the Greek text, there is no Yahweh. It's the Lord, Adonai. Um, is it Adonai or is it just the Lord? See, I don't know. It might just be the Lord. But so I, I from what I gather, they do it in English because if they would have done it in the Hebrew, Yahweh in Hebrew would have been the Tetanus. Grammaton, if I'm saying that correctly, um, and over here, then they would have done Adonai, but they did Yahweh, English, the Lord, so, and they do some places Yah, um, that's because that's how it shows up in the original, it's very true to the original text, and I really like that, and I was looking for, let's go to Song of Solomon again. Um, because I believe I went too far. Maybe not. So it'll take you a while to get to where you're looking for. You got to get used to the single column. There's more pages. You're not going to make as much ground when you're flipping through. Uh. Here we go, there's Ecclesiastes. And if you know from the last couple of reviews, I've been doing Song of Songs lately to see if they show the man and woman. And I don't believe this one might not. So that's the Bride of Desire. And I don't see that they did. Solomon and the Bride extol each other. Yeah, there's no no indication, but I mean, there's plenty of room in this Bible to where you could, in between, wherever it shows up, bride and groom, which I may do. It just keeps me on track, honestly, of knowing the dialogue rather than be like, okay, which one's saying that? Because you could probably guess a lot by the, the uh, paragraphs. There's a paragraph, there's a paragraph, there's a paragraph, paragraph. So it's probably back and forth like that. But... It's just a lot easier for me when I see the bride and the groom. So I'll probably write those in there really lightly. I need to have the micron pen. I just hate my writing sometimes. So I'll have to be really careful when I do it. Because that's a lot of, I mean, Song of Songs, Solomon is not that long. So but that's a lot of writing, bride and groom, uh, bridesmaids or whatever shows up, you know. Anyway, just so you know, that's not in there in that one. It is in the Stridon and in the Striden. I don't know why I said Stridon. I was watching that brother too much. He's from the South, so he pronounces it different. 
Now I will be on high, says Yahweh. You'll see Yahweh through here all the time. It's just beautiful. Beautifully done Bible. And a home run by Steadfast. Because this is probably my everyday Bible now. My EDC. EDR. Everyday read. Everyday carry. It's just these card stocks that I, they want to suck those pages up sometimes. And well, this one I'll also show you because I try to be fair in my reviews. A lot of that has to do with the fact you ain't really going to pick it up here. See, if you see that right there coming up, it's because it's glued a little bit to the card stock here. So that is one reason why sucks those pages up and I would imagine Skylar is no different because the first few pages of my other one did the same thing my strident so I'm going to say it's not just steadfast as you can see it wants to lie flat so it, with time it's going to lie really flat so if anybody's worried about that don't worry about it it's just one of those things you have to break it in and this hinge this edge lining is a little bit more stiff than the the uh, Skylar Striden was. But man, that's a nice looking Bible. Very beautiful. As you can see, there's the footprints one more time. Put them, this is cover footprints, by the way. You already seen the text footprints earlier on in the video. Um, it's just a hair shorter. And the hair is not really gonna show up like it's any shorter, but it, there you go. Top view, you really couldn't see. So it's just a hair text block by like that much. Probably like an inch, if that. I don't know if I'd say an inch. I'm gonna look one more time. Give you one more look at the text blocks. I think it's a better size. Um, these two are gonna both get used a lot because this has taken the place for me from the NLT. This is greater than the NLT. It's an easier read Bible, but it's not like super, I would call that almost an inch probably. Almost. So almost an inch shorter. Um, this way, I don't know, I'd have to measure. Measure and then, yeah, it's just a hair shorter this way too, like I thought. So as you can see, that was the real quick review of the LSB handy size edition of the Bible. Just gotta make sure I ain't messing my pages up again. So far, no. Cause I really love this Bible too. This one here though, the translation for me, they had me at Yahweh. Have a wonderful day. May Yahweh bless you.